Hi, allies. My name is Mrs. Scott, and I am reading to you a special Christmas story called Wombat Divine. Wombats are special animals that live in Australia, and this whole story is filled with Australian animals and what they do to celebrate Christmas by putting on the nativity play. Wombat Divine by Membox. It was the week before Christmas. Wombat loved Christmas. He loved the carols and the candles, the presents and the pudding, but most of all, he loved the nativity play. For as long as he could remember, Wombat had wanted to be in the nativity. Now at last he was old enough to take part. So with his heart full of hope and his head full of dreams, he hurried along to the auditions. His friends were already there. Emu was bossing and fussing as usual. Now let's get started, she said. Who would like to be the Archangel Gabriel? I would, said Wombat. But he was too heavy to be the Archangel Gabriel. Poor Wombat. Bilby was chosen instead. Bilby patted Wombat on the back. Never mind, Wombat, don't lose heart. Why not try for a different part? What a good idea, said Emu. Now, who'd like to be Mary? I would, said Wombat. But he was too big to be Mary. Numbat was chosen instead. Numbat stroked Wombat's nose. There, there, Wombat, don't lose heart. Why not try for a different part? Right, said Emu. Now, who'd like to be one of the three kings? I would, said Wombat. But he was too short to be a king. The kangaroos were chosen instead. The kangaroos put their arms around Wombat. Cheer up, Wombat. Don't lose heart. Why not try for a different part? Wombat tried everything. He wanted to be Joseph, but he was too sleepy. He wanted to be the innkeeper, but he was too clumsy. He wanted to be one of the shepherds, but he was too short-sighted. Oh, poor Wombat. And then there were no parts left. Wombat hung his head and hoped he wouldn't cry. Suddenly, Bilby leaped into the air. I know, he shouted. You could be the baby Jesus. Could I, said Wombat, asked Wombat. Could I really? Of course you could, Wombat said Emu. Fancy my forgetting such an important part. A nativity without the baby Jesus is no nativity at all. Wombat was dizzy with pride. Christmas Eve arrived at last. Everyone was nervous except Wombat. He lay quiet and still throughout the whole performance. He even fell asleep, just as the real baby would. On Christmas Day, when everyone was opening presents and eating putty, they all agreed it had been the best nativity ever. You were divine, Wombat, said Emu. And Wombat beamed. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas.